everyone it's Raven welcome back to the nest what I have for you all today I will be stuffing my cash envelopes for the rest of the week well not the rest of the week but the upcoming week so if you're interested in that stay tuned okay so let's go ahead and get into zeroing out, which I think the only one I need to zero out is food, honestly, because I don't have anything left in gas and then personal and household, you know, I stuff those just once every two weeks. So let us go ahead and do food. And I have quite a bit left for food, y'all. So let's see. And I think I've actually filled out my entire sheet front and back for food. So we are going to need another sheet get a new one and I I have quite a few of these so these will probably make it for the rest of I don't know how long <laughs> but <laughs> when I start to get low I may just try to make my own and see how that works I'm sure that I could repurchase maybe some additional sheets but why do that when I'm pretty savvy on a computer myself and can create some stuff so we will see what we can put together once these start to get low so here is our, well, let me put that right there for a second. All right, so here's our old sheet, which as you can see, I had my deposit. I actually went to Wingstop. <laughs> so I've been eating out a little bit more the past week or so. That's probably why I have a bit left here because I have not, well, I did go to the grocery store and picked up a couple of things from Kroger on the 6th, like literally a couple of things. I didn't need any meats or anything like that. I just need some more vegetables, fruit, stuff like that. But I have been eating out quite a bit. And then I've kind of been having uh, some gallbladder issues. I don't think I've ever mentioned that here before, but I do have kind of gallbladder problems and I am refusing to get it taken out. <laughs> so every once in a while, I do have like some, you know, issues there. And when I am having issues with it, I tend to eat significantly less. Um, so that's kind of what's been happening like the past couple of weeks and then you know I just been eating out a little bit more so anyway so that is where I kind of did all my spending and things like that and like I said this sheet is already completely filled out front and back so we are going to set it off to the side and get us a fresh sheet and I need to go look through the car because I need to find my multicolored pen I lost it and I just don't know I think it's either somewhere in my backpack or my purse or just somewhere lost in the car. But we, I don't know, I don't know. But we have this um, this uni pen, which I actually use this to write on transparent sticky notes, because once you write with this, it doesn't smear. And that's like kind of a huge thing when it comes to transparent paper, sticky notes, anything like that, because the paper, the material is so slick. So anytime if you write on it with like a regular kind of pen, it can smear. But with this pen, it really doesn't, which I probably shouldn't use this, but only with my transparent stuff so I don't run out of it. But um, this was kind of a pen that I was able to grab really quickly and stuff it in here when I was headed out the door. Because I, like I said, I couldn't find my multicolor pen, but whatever. So let's go ahead and count up what we have left in our food envelope. So it's 20, 25, 30, 31, 33, 34, 35, 36. So we have $36 left from our 80. So we're gonna go ahead and say 9, 10, and we're gonna say reconcile minus $36. And that leaves us with zero. And then we're gonna do 9, 10 again. And we're gonna say, I just spelled deposit all wrong. Deposit. And we're gonna deposit our regular $80. So there is that. All right, so I'm gonna set this over here to the side. That is what we reconciled out to zero it down. Cause I prefer to just zero down instead of just transferring over to the next week. It just helps me budget better and kind of see, it also kind of helps me see how I'm spending my money and if I need to make adjustments or things like that, that's why I tend to not 
you know, transfer things over. I just kind of, you know, take out, take it out to reconcile it down to zero. And what I decided to do with that additional amount, I know I was kind of teetering back and forth on what I wanted to do. So I'm actually going to use it to pay down um, additional on my debt, meaning that that last credit card that I have. I was gonna put it towards like my car and all of that, but because I'm trying to get rid of this credit card and just really, you know, hone in on that, I said I'm just gonna use that extra for um, just paying additional payments towards that. So that's what I plan to do with that. So let's go ahead and put our $80 in for the week. So we're gonna do 20s and then we do two tens and then I believe we do four fives yeah yeah it's four fives right because it's 20 yep so let's count this just to make sure we're good to go 20 40 50 60 65 70 75 80 that is our 80 dollars and what I actually may do, I don't I don't know what I want to do with these yet. If I just want to throw them away or what, I don't know. I'm just going to hang on to it for just a bit. I mean, I, mean, I may just throw them away. Me, I'm the type of person who doesn't throw things away. <laughs> I mean, even like my old budget sheets from like two years ago, I still have them. I... I don't know. I don't I don't know. I don't know. Tell me what what do y'all do with y'all old budget sheets? If you are utilizing budget sheets and things. Do you just throw them away? I mean, I don't know. I just I don't know if maybe that's the the nurse in me working in the medical field like you just did not throw stuff away. I mean, you there was like a minimum required time that you had to retain records and that is just so that's just so ingrained into my brain <laughs> that throwing away stuff is just so hard. That's probably why like, if y'all just see, like, my entire desk area, which at some point I may take you through a mini tour of this area, you would be like, Raven, why are you holding on to that stuff? Like, why? Why? <laughs> All right, so let's do gas. So as you can see here, I deposited my regular gas money, and um, I got some gas on the 6th, um, $45.00. So we are just going to fill this with our 45 for the week, which is going to be two 20s and then the five. So let's just make sure we're not going to really count this for real, but you know, we got the two 20s, the five, that is $45. And let me go ahead and write that on here. Nine, 10. Deposit of 45. $45. Okay. So, 45 ready to go for the week and I think I actually need to get some gas today. I think so. I believe I do need to get some gas. <laughs> so, this actually is being stuffed today and will more than likely be used today. So, that's our 45 for gas. Personal I don't believe I've spent anything in personal new no. and I'm trying to think if I really need anything I know I said that I needed some um, floss picks and probably some mouth well I think I said that but then I actually found some so I don't need any I found like two bags of the floss picks and then I found randomly somewhere two bottles of mouthwash that's why it's important to know what you have I think I mentioned this on that video where I did the um, kind of the haul for the household products and personal care products, all those things, you definitely want to shop at home first. And you even want to do that with like grocery shopping too. You want to shop at home and see what you have at home first before you go out buying stuff. So like I said, so I have not spent anything in personal. So we still have our regular 25 and I don't see that I will need anything. I don't. Like I said, I'll need to like really take a look at my personal care items just to see what I have and what I don't have. But I think I'm pretty good. I would have known at this point if I didn't have something. You know what I'm saying? Just like doing my regular routine, you know, my personal hygiene routine, all that kind of stuff. I would have known if I did not have, some, have something. So, housing, I have not spent anything... I imagine I probably will this weekend only because I'm probably going to get um, 
one or two newspapers and I usually pull that from my household because essentially I'm getting coupons for household stuff so yeah I think I do need a couple of household items as well but I'm gonna wait to get coupons to see what's kind of available there but even if I don't have a coupon for certain things that I need I'll just go ahead and buy it anyway like I know for 100% fact that I do need pine saw I am a pine saw girl. I love pine saw. So we do not have any at all in the house. <laughs> so I need to get some of that. And I usually get like the really big jug and um, it usually lasts, you know, a couple of weeks or whatever. I think we also need some garbage bags. Mm, but I don't know if anybody has any on sale. So we're not like in desperate need of them. But I have one box left. So I may try to wait to see who has something on sale. Or if I get some pretty good coupons this week. If they do have some for garbage bags. Then I'll pick some up. But we will see. Um, and I did have to exchange out some bills. So some of you that probably watch my videos very closely. You would know in home and personal. My five dollars is usually in ones but i actually needed some change for i think it was the food category i can't even remember where i went but i needed some ones so i actually just took a five out of food and exchanged it for the ones in the home category so that's where i had to do some exchanging of bills so that is what we still have in housing like i said we still have our 25 dollars there and then lastly, I introduced this little sinking fund on last week. This is essentially going to be like my savings envelope for our Halloween party. I ain't sure what everybody else is doing, but <laughs> for my portion of this Halloween party, my financial obligation portion, I will be saving $15 a week leading up to Halloween for, you know, like I said, my financial portion of it. So... We already have our first $15 in here, so we're actually going to go ahead and add our other 15 So as you can see, these are five ones, and then we have our 10 So uh, you know, y'all know I got to organize my money correctly. So we're going to put the ones with the ones, and then these two tens together. So this should be a total of $30, and we're just going to go ahead and count it for counting sake, just to make sure we all good. So that's 10 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So we are $30 in. And like I said, I will continue to save this probably likely up to that week before Halloween. Because essentially we would start need to start putting in orders for different stuff or whatever. Um, and that way I'll have this, you know, ready to go for whatever we need, which I mean, we shouldn't need to spend much. Well, I don't say spend much, but as far as like for different things, like we still have decorations that we used last year that we can reuse again, cause we will be reusing them. Um, so only thing that we would really need to purchase would be food, um, adult beverages, non-adult beverages and probably firewood for the fire pit and we may need some fluid for the torches outside possibly but we really just need like you know funds for like that kind of stuff all right guys here we are we are stuffed and ready to go for the week if you enjoyed this video definitely go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you're not already a subscriber definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you don't miss any more of my videos thanks guys peace